Hey, how's it going? This is Pilot Boy Chris, the authority in the industry when it comes to pilot car information and pilot car training. What we're going to talk about today is the pilot car certification needed and required in order for you to be a certified pilot car driver. But before we get into that, let me ask you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can keep this thing going. I speak about nothing but the pilot car industry on this channel and I drop a lot of free information, a lot of free games. So you want to make sure that you tune in and stay tuned in. If you haven't uh, went through all my old videos, you want to make sure you do that because it's a lot of information in there. And also make sure you stay tuned in to the end of all videos because a lot of times I drop uh, little nuggets at the end of the videos as well. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're soaking up as much good information as you can trying to get into this industry. So my pursuit is to give you as much free information as I can as possible. Uh, and it's free, like I say, so don't cheat yourself. Now, as mentioned, we're going to talk about the pilot car certification today. What is it? Uh, how do you get it? And how much does it cost? Now, as I mentioned in several of my other videos, you guys know that I'm always talking about how low the barrier entry is into this industry. And one of the things that I'm speaking of when I say that is the requirements of becoming a pilot car driver. And so all that is needed to become a pilot car driver is to get certified, that's it. On top of that, this certification class is only a one day class, it's eight hours. And once you complete that class, you're certified as a pilot car driver, it's that easy. Now you got a handful of companies out there that are offering pilot car certification classes, uh, you wanna be aware that they're not all created equal at all. You got some that cost as low as $230, $250, all the way up to $500. You got some in there offering the same thing, even though they're priced different like that. Uh, you got some that will certify you only for one state, and you got some that will certify you to drive all over the US. Uh, so you wanna be aware of these things when you're uh, pursuing a company, uh, or pursuing your certification, period. You just wanna make sure that you're getting certified by a reliable and reputable company uh, that's trusted. So what I'm gonna do is let you guys know uh, specifically where I got certified when I first came into the industry uh, and and the same place that is the same place that all of my drivers have been certified through. And the majority of the people I work with are that I know they all went through the same company as uh, the main company in the industry, I, I, I believe. Uh, at least when you talk to drivers, that's the main company that we use. And I'm gonna uh, let you guys know what company that is. Uh, but right now, I wanna talk about what to expect in that certification class. Now I wanna clarify that the class that I offer and the certification class is two different classes. Uh, the class, of course, that I offer is actually a training course and that certification class is not a training course. They are in fact two different things. Uh, that certification class is required to have when you become a pilot car driver. My course is more about training you to be a successful driver and even be a successful business if you want to scale into a full business as well. The certification class, on the other hand, is going to look at your driving record and it's going to go through various ins and outs as it pertains to being safe while you're escorting and also various safety measures in different situations. When signing up, they're going to send you some study materials uh, or maybe not. They may have changed that because they offer online uh, access now and, and you know that's recent they used to go do classes um, you know go to city to city and offer these classes and it was face to face and, and in that they used to send out these uh, books of study materials so they may have changed that but they if they haven't uh, you can expect to get a uh, some study material and so with that they're gonna do uh, like I say, about eight hours of lecture. So it's a full day. And at the end of that full day, you're gonna take a test. You're gonna be tested over the material that they just went over. 
but don't sweat because it's an open book test. And I know no one that has failed that test. So it's basically, you're gonna experience those eight hours. So I would take notes if I were you. And at the end, uh, you'll be tested and then be certified as a pilot car driver and have your uh, license to drive. During that eight hours, uh, they will give you a break, give you a few breaks. Uh, in between, so the eight hours don't seem uh, just too, too long. As well, I've been asked about background checks and other things of that sort. Uh, what you mainly want to be concerned with is your driving record. They, that's, that's the only real thing they're concerned with is what kind of driver you are. Uh, there are no background checks that they that you have to go through. Uh, they're looking more, they're more concerned with your tickets, uh, DUIs, speeding, at fault accidents, and things of that nature. You don't need a squeaky clean background. You don't need a CDL. You don't even need professional driving experience to become a pilot car driver. Again, y'all have heard me stress the low barrier entry into this industry, and these are the things that I'm talking about when uh, I do stress that. Truly, truly, you have to see and understand that this is as easy as I'm making it out to be, is this that simple. Now, as far as where to get certified or where to go to get this certification on, and enroll into class, the most reputable company and reliable company uh, known in the industry, the company is uspilotcar.com. The link is below. Uh, be sure to go click the link. It'll send you straight to uh, where you need to be to enroll. It'll show you the dates uh, they have available and whatnot. But click the link because there is a uspilotcars.com. This is a similar, there's some similar sites out there that try to copy them. So you want to make sure you click the link below so you go to the correct place and not be sent to uh, one of their competitors uh, and, and or one of the people or companies that are trying to copy them out there. But the link is below. Make sure you click that link and it'll send you straight to where you need to be. Now, when you go on their site, you'll see uh, the, the certification and it's called a Utah Pilot Car Certification. Now, don't get confused by the name of the certification uh, because even though it says Utah, it's not certifying you only in Utah. That's just the name of the certification. They also, not them, but there is also a Washington certification out there as well that does the same thing. Um, so when you see these state names, don't get uh, sidetracked. So like I said, even though it says Utah certification, it's gonna certify you to run all throughout the US, except for New York. And for those of you that have uh, seen my other videos, heard me speak on it before, you know that New York, I say except New York because New York as mentioned before, uh, host its own certification. You have to have a New York certification specifically in order to escort through New York. You can be certified to go through all other states, uh, but New York is special. Uh, there are the, the rules and regulations are different there. And for that reason, they offer their own certification class to run specifically through New York and New York only. So in addition to uh, the Utah certification and any other certification for that matter, uh, if you wish to run through New York or, or run loads through New York, you'll have to go to New York and get that separate certification as well. For those of you that are not in that on that East Coast and maybe are wondering, do I really need that New York certification? My opinion is it really depends on the region that you live in. If if I'm on the West Coast or in the South, uh, I, I really wouldn't concern myself with it. I'm in the South. However, I did go up there. I dropped a load in Jersey and, oh, was it Pennsylvania? I forget. But anyway, I dropped a load up there and uh, ended up going into New York and getting certified. This was early on in my driving career. I went over there, got certified, and got the uh, the certification. I got the, the placard. They give you a placard to put on the side of your vehicle as well. So I got all that, got that taken care of. And out of my uh, several years of driving, 
I never once took a load through New York. So uh, it was nice to have. It was, it was, you know, it, insurance purposes in case I got a load going up there. But out of all my years, I never got a load going anywhere new uh, through New York. And uh, none of my drivers have gotten it either. I mean, after my experience, I didn't even have my drivers go get certified in New York because it was just a, a waste of time for me and my setup. Again, you may be different. You may be up there in Virginia. You may be in Baltimore. You may be on the East Coast somewhere and going through New York may be an option for you. But if I'm on the West Coast in the South, uh, I really wouldn't worry about it uh, myself. Even if even if I was in the Midwest, I probably wouldn't worry about it. But it's the each own on that. But again, outside of New York with the Utah certification, you will be good to drive and work in every other state in the United States. The price for the course is between $230, $250. And that just really depends on when you enroll. Uh, the later you enroll, I uh, believe the more the price goes up to about 250. But if you get in there early and you enroll early, you can get it at 230. USPilotCard.com uh, is actually one of the cheapest out there as well. I just had another uh, person that became a student, but they went and got certified first. However, we didn't talk and so they, they didn't know where to get certified at. And they went to another company and paid uh, four, not $500 to get certified. They're good to drive everywhere in the US, but they just, they just end up paying double the price and that just wasn't necessary. So um, again, US Pilot Car, uh, most economical companies out there offering, and they're the most reliable. They are the main source when it comes to uh, Pilot Car certifications. Uh, in this industry. Now I do realize everybody that comes to my channel may not or may feel like they don't need training. I understand that. And really that's not why this channel was created. It was created because of the lack of information in this industry or on this industry uh, that was available online. And so uh, the course just came from that because so many people wanted more information and wanted more help, wanted hands-on help. So. Uh, like I was saying, so I understand that everybody that comes to the channel may not need or feel like they need or want uh, a training course. If you don't, if that's you, just continue to tune in. Like I say, I'm giving out free information video by video. Also, I got online an equipment list that lists all the equipment you need as a pilot car driver. It's a $10 list, everything you need as a driver. Also, I got a resource list that lists the insurance companies that deal with pilot car drivers. And also I have a low board, the best low board listed on that list as well. Uh, again, y'all have heard me talk about the low board uh, and refer to them as leftover, having leftovers on the low board. And that's still true, but there is the best of the low boards out there and I put that on the resource list. And again, this is for some that, you know, you may already have a foot in the door, all your stuff together and you just need a little nudge or a little bit of a little nugget. And so that's what this resource list is. Uh, some uh, a few resources in the industry that you may need to just snatch up and, and get out there and get on the road. So I got that on my site as well. So remember the resource list is available. Uh, I'll put the link below. Uh, also across the screen is pilotboy.life. Uh, you can go there, you can enroll in the course, you can uh, pick up the equipment list if that's all you need, or if you need the resource list with the insurance companies and the low board, the main low board uh, listed, you can pick up the resource list and be on your way. For those, of course, that need in-depth training uh, from how to dress your vehicle, how to actually escort, where to get your work, how to invoice, how to get paid, how to charge. I mean, from A to Z, I got the training course for you. Uh, you can enroll on the same website, www.pilotboy.life. Uh, you can enroll in the course. I give out uh, contacts as well, so you can get your work from, so you're not having to deal with the low boards. And I got contacts, several contacts I give out to my students. And then on top of that, I'm a mentor to you. 
uh, as you start up in that and once you get out there. So if there's anything you come in cro come across, I'm a phone call away as a mentor. I'm there for you via text or via straight phone call. Now we're coming to the end of the video. You know, I want you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop in the comments and let me know where you guys are coming in from, what industry, what has you looking at the pilot car industry and what do you think about it so far? What are your thoughts? And I uh, appreciate you guys' support. I'll see you guys on the next one.